This is handling command line parameters in Python. This will be another quick one where I'll just show you a couple quick examples of how to pass uh, parameters on the command line, uh, unpack them, and use them in your script. The idea here is that you should be able to send data into a script without having to hack the script each time you run it. Um, you can if you want to, you know, have constants in your script that you go in and edit and change and that sort of thing, but it's much more elegant and much more easy and, and certainly uh, more sane to be able to um, pass parameters in along uh, on the command line at the time that you uh, run the script without having to change the script every time you run it. Um, and so that's how um, you do this in Python and, and in a lot of other programming languages as well. Uh, they do this uh, similarly, the C programming language and C++ do this as well too. Uh, there is a, a mod module that exists in Python called argv, A-R-G-V, um, which we'll see uh, and that you can use to um, communicate with the command line and get additional pieces of data uh, from the user when they execute your script and use that to change the way your script runs. Okay, so once again, our very simple premise here will be that we want to uh, take a string, uh, put it into a template like we have over and over again in this class, um, except the, the difference here is that the string is not going to be a, um, a contents of a variable or a fixed uh, static string. It's going to be supplied uh, by the user at the time they run the script and it'll be um, supplied on the command line, okay? So first thing we have to do here um, in order to use the command line parameter handling functionality of um, Python is to import the appropriate functionality from uh, the appropriate module. And the uh, way to do this is to say from sys, sys is the name of the module, import argv, argv is the uh, name of the uh, list of arguments that is passed to your uh, script. Um, I am intentionally not going to go into too much detail about what I just typed and what it all means. For now, just um, type it in as you see it, and we'll talk uh, in more detail uh, later in the course about how modules work, uh, how to use these imports, um, and, and what all that stuff means. But uh, the, the short version of it for now, the basic stuff is that uh, Python provides a lot of its uh, extra functionality beyond the basics type functionality uh, in the form of these modules. And in order to uh, access that functionality, you have to know uh, what module the functionality resides in, and then you have to do one of these import um, statements, which I just did. So uh, second step after you have uh, imported the argv module uh, is to uh, unpack the values from this argv list. Uh, in other words, what you get when the script is run is this thing called argv, which is a list, uh, a list of values, um, which you can then, if you want to, assign to variables uh, to make them easier to deal with. Now, later in the course, we'll talk about the list as a discrete Python data type. Um, but for now, without having to go into too much depth about what a list is, um, just think of it as a, a, a single variable that can hold a bunch of values. That's the way to think about it for now. Um, and we can unpack the values from this list. Um, and as long as we have a sense as to how many um, values there are, uh, we can write code to do this. Now, the first thing when we unpack this uh, argv list is that the first thing in argv uh, argv is the name of the script itself. So I say script, but then I've got some other things that I might want to um, have as well too. And let's say that um, on the command line, we're going to get a name and an address. And to unpack that from argv, all we have to do is use an assignment. And Python understands what we're trying to do here. Python sees that you're assigning three variables to a list, which is argv, and it says, okay, I'm going to look in argv, argv, I keep saying rv because it's not a recreational vehicle, I should probably pronounce it right, argv, right? Argv has three things in it. First thing is the name of the script, and that's the case always in Python. Uh, the second thing is the name that was passed in at the command line. The third thing will be the address assuming all of those things were typed in, and I'll show you what happens if they weren't typed in. Um, so it unpacks those three values from argv and assigns them in order to the variables script, name, and address. Okay, 
So let's do something with these. I'll say print uh, script, print name, print address. This is really simple. I'm not even going to bother with the uh, templating business that I normally do in this case. I'm just going to print the three things out um, that were passed in, right? And then uh, in the text there is an example of uh, how to use this with templating, but you've probably done so much templating by now that um, you're probably totally over it, right? Okay, let's try this again. Now, uh, moving back to the terminal, I'll say uh, Python uh, argv.py. Now, argv is the name of the script here. Um, I hope that's not too confusing. Um, and then, because this thing uh, expects two parameters, I'll have to type in the name. So this will be uh, Jane, and then an address, which will be uh, Sacramento. I'm not using a full address um, for reasons I'll explain in a second. Um, but this hopefully will work. Yeah, beautiful. So you can see it printed the script, meaning the name of the script. It printed the name, Jane, and it printed the address, Sacramento. Now, what if the address was 123 Main Street? We have a problem in this case because um, whenever you enter something in on a command line, um, the command line uses the space as a delimiter, right? So I can't type in python argv.py uh, bob uh, and then San Francisco. It won't work because uh, San Francisco, it's not interpreting it as one thing, right? It'll just say too many values to unpack. That's an error. Um, it expected two things, really three things if you count the name of the script, which is always there. But you gave it four, right? You gave it the name of the script, uh, bob, san and then this thing francisco and so there's a mismatch between the number of um, arguments that you gave it and the number of arguments that you, it expected right so how can you fix this the answer is by uh, delimiting san francisco with quotes right now there are just three things being passed on the command line argv.py which is the name of the script bob the name bob and then in quotes san francisco and at this point you see this this can work right Okay, awesome. This is a little fragile though, right? Like if the user forgets to type in anything, python argv.py, they get that same ugly error, right? Later in the course, we'll talk about how to validate against this. And the most common way to validate um, when you have a command line parameter um, is to check the length of argv. Um, you, and there's a, a function in Python that lets you do this called len, L-E-N. Um, by checking the length of argv, you can determine whether the correct number of parameters were, was passed. Um, in addition to this, and this is a more intermediate topic that we won't cover in this course probably at all, um, but there is uh, there are actually multiple uh, libraries or modules in Python that give you much greater control over uh, command line arguments, and they give you the ability to pass things like flags, and you can have uh, certain you know things be required and certain things that are optional and you can have multiple um, arguments of the same type, very rich functionality. Um, we're not going to go into that much depth because for now all we really want to do is do the basics of how to pass something in uh, and then parse it out using argv. Uh, we'll worry about the more complex stuff and the validation part um, for a future lesson.